Uh, hi guys, uh, Diablo 4 Season 5, Hardcore Build. Let's get it.
Okay, so I thought I would do um, a quick um, hardcore uh, video this season. Um, every season I always make a, a hardcore character and uh, this season's no different. Um, I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Um, it gives the game a little bit of edge. Um, for those that don't know, hardcore means once you're dead, you're dead. There's, there's no restart, no restart, no um, uh, 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 pick up or anything like that. Nobody can pick you up when they see your tombstone and, and on the ground, you, you're gone. It's game over. Um, the, you don't lose, you only lose what you're carrying. You don't lose your stash and you don't lose like your gold and things like that. So if I died now and I started a new character, I'd start with 18.7 million uh, gold. But I wouldn't have all of these items that I've got now. Um, but I would have uh, these items that are in my stash. Uh, these don't disappear. These disappear at the end of the season like normal. Okay. So at the minute, um, I'm working on, um, if you just saw the build there real quick, is a non-legendary, non-uber build. So that's what this one is. And then when I've done this one, I'll, I'll do a legendary build, and then when I've done done that one, I'll do a, um, an uber build. Because, but the simple reason is, leg it's all about RNG. Your legendaries are RNG, and your ubers are RNG, and not, not everyone can get them that easily so i'll put this build that i'm working on at a minute now in the description but so far this is the best build that i've um, been able to use for hardcore it's it's really strong it's really quick um minions would be good as well but i always use minions so that's why i've gone for sorcerer um this season so so far as far as i'm concerned this one is is the uh the best one um i've I'll add some footage of uh, me killing a few things. I think the butcher came up at one point as well, and me moving up world tiers. Um, as far as the the, the journey, it's, you you should treat it exactly the same as um, any normal character. Yeah, like you don't want to fight, you don't want to battle, you don't, you don't want things like that. So so when you feel that you're ready, so like I, I went up to world tier three when I was like forty five or something, level forty five, um, and then I was and. I did this the uh, up to World Tier Four when I was sixty five, uh, sixty, sorry, sixty or sixty five, can't remember, something like that. Anyway, um, so which and I would do that normally and with a normal character. So um, you just need to judge it by yourself. And you'll, you'll know how strong you are now, because we're still quite early in the season. We're on we're on like ten days in or something, something silly like that. So you might you may not have um, all of the um, uh, glyphs unlocked and all, all your talents and all your skills and all, and all that stuff so um, your first playthrough will be just to try and get as many of them as you can and then maybe if you die then then your second character will be stronger and then if you die again your, your third character will be stronger so um, it, it, you've got to play it a little bit a little bit cautious um, at times um, until until you, 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 you're you happy with your, your build because um, just like anything else you do have to redo your all as a Lilith as well which really do help um, definitely, as you can see, I've done all mine uh, because they do help. They give you strength and dexterity and healing potions and, you know I mean, skill points and all the rest of it. So definitely get these done. You don't have to worry too much about filling these. You can do these slowly as as you're doing it because I, I play it the same way that I play um, normal, which is um, I'll uh, get to world... I'll, I'll at least be world tier four ready and then I'll do the nightmare dungeons so then when, then when the Nightmare Dungeons are, uh, 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 will will do, help me to do the side missions, you see the side dungeons and things like that, it, as your Nightmare Dungeons open them up, you'll start unlocking them all, be like these. Um, early early stage, what I do is I tend to just go around and whatever ones are good for me, so Sorcerer or if, if you're running a Barbarian or whatever, then just do the ones that are, that you'll need. Like you can see, I've done that one. I, mean, I don't need that one for Sorcerer. I've done that one. You see, see what I mean? So I would do definitely do that because that helps with these. Um, I would only worry about like the, the first three. I wouldn't worry about the last two too much. You know what I mean? Do them obviously over time, but just get the first three done on each one. You know, so you can get up, at least up to the skill points. Paragon points, like I said, that they'll come in time, um, and and it, it it'll take it takes quite a while for so those to be leveled up anyway. So because if you if your um if if your your glyphs need to be like level 15 then you'll have to keep doing the dungeons to, to get those points up so yeah so that's that's it really um it, it just 
take your time, be a little bit more careful. Like I said, this build, that like this, this is the the build probably won't stay like this, but it'll it'll be like this. It'll, there'll be no legendaries and there'll be no ubers. The items might change as I as I get up to level one hundred, but this is going to be basically it. And then, like I said, it's just your talents then. So you, you know what I mean. So your imprints, what you've imprinted on, and then obviously your um, uh, uh, everything else needs to go on. Like like I said, I'm not world too far. I can only I can only put one thing on at a time. Uh, but when I go up to world too far, I can put two things on. I'll probably go up at around like 75, 78, something like that, just to be on the safe side. And but this build is really strong. You can see by the video. I mean, I even took down the butcher in seconds. So. Definitely, if you haven't, if you haven't, if you have not done hardcore before and you'd like to give it a try, then definitely try this build. Like I said, I'll put a link to this build that I'm using in the description. Um, but pretty much that is it. That is it. Just, just like I said, just try and follow the steps that I've done. Um, Helltide is good still. It is still good to be in here. But um, once you hit glyph level, I think it's my opinion that you want to get your glyphs up to level 15 because they do benefit your build a lot. And then once you've done that, get back in this Helltide. And then it's so you can do the Mother's, is it Mother's Embrace or whatever it's called? That's that's that one over there. So that hopefully then try and get your um, Resplendent Spark or whatever it's called. I don't know if they've changed the name of it now, but it's the Sparks anyway, so you can craft, craft an Uber. Um, and I, and that's why I, I thought I'd do this video now and they'll do another one when, it's, when I'm doing um, Legendary items. And then hopefully by then, I'll have at least one Uber item the times that I've done it um, and then I'll be able to build a, 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 at least got one Uber item in it uh, probably the, the Anderel's mask or something like that anyway um, so yeah so keep watching the channel uh, like and subscribe um, and I'll have more videos on this character um, in the future enjoy